one, I try to throw myself into different contexts to help find what are the heuristics and the biases that I've been leaning on that might not apply anymore. I think that's sort of a useful way to change up your definition of whether that's jumping into a new company or jumping into a new industry or jumping into a new living environment or whatever it is. Like, Getting yourself into a different context is a great way to sort of force you to see absurdity and force you to see nuance and change and difference. That's that's one piece. That's the discovery. The other bit is start building a practice of figuring out where you were wrong. This is one I'm starting to add myself is looking at things that I have done or that I am doing, things I know, things that I'm thinking about and try to find the spaces where I'm wrong. Give me an example of that. Yeah. So I I posted something recently about this where in the past, my understanding about pay bias. So I, I did a lot of research early on in the gender pay gap. This was, you know, a couple decades ago. And one of the big things that they had always had come to is that women don't negotiate properly for salary. And therefore that, you know, you start out not negotiating for salary you compound that over the course of your career and it turns into a very big number, right? So this was something that I had seen research I knew and was very sure about. Well, it turns out that that was true at that time, but is no longer true today. In fact, women do negotiate for salary and new college grads are negotiating for salary, which is fantastic. The thing that is still true today is that when women negotiate for more salary or higher pay, they're less likely to get it. 